today I'll be teaching you how to calculate the reaction and bending moment in case of arches. For this class, if we take the case, arch is springing at different level. That means arch will have one support at higher level and one support at lower level. The arches of this type will be of this form. One support will be at higher end, the other support will be at the lower end. So let us name the support, this support as A and the lower support as B and the crown of the arch as C. In order to analyze the reaction and bending moment for this arch, let us draw, the, I mean let us go for some altered configuration. So extend this so that this level and lower level are at equal. The point of intersection of this level with the other end is this point. Name this point as A dash and name this point as B dash. Now we have two arches, one outer arch and one inner arch. Both arches will have, will, uh, I mean, will coincide with each other. So this arch A, C and B dash and A dash, C and B will be similar arch. The equation governing any parabolic arch will be suitable for both the outer arch as well as for the inner arch. The equation of a parabolic arch is given by y is equal to 4yc by l square into x square where l is the span of the whole arch and y is the rise of the arch. And for any x point you can have the y point from this governing equation. Here let us consider this is the span L1, span of the outer arch and span of the inner arch is L2 and this is rise of the inner arch and this is and this point you can say this is rise of the outer arch. So you have got two four components L1, L2, Y1 and Y2. Substituting in this equation you will be having 4 y1 by l1 square will be equal to 4 y2 by l2 square. On simplifying it, you will be having the relation to reduced form like this, square root of y1 by y2. That is, ratio between the span square will be equal to square root of the ratio between the y. Applying the procedure to calculate the reaction and bending moment, let me take an example. The example says like this, a 3 injured parabolic arch of 40 meter span has abutments at unequal levels. The highest point of the arch is 4 meter above the left support and 9 meter above the right support. The arch is subjected to an UDL of 15 kN per meter over its entire span. We have to calculate number one, the horizontal thrust, and number two, the bending moment at a point 8 meters from the left. Solving the problem, let us write the given data and what are things to be found out. In given data, the first given data is the span of the arch, that is 40 meters. The abutment are at the unequal level, that is the important point that you have to make, uh, have to write it down. The highest point is the crown. The crown is 4 meter above the left support and 9 meter above the right support. The given UDL is 15 kN per meter. We have to calculate number 1 the horizontal thrust and number 2 bending moment at a point 8 meter from the left support. The given case is like this. This is the given parabolic arch, right, left support A and right support B and span of the arch is given to be 40 meters. 40 meter is the span of the arch and crown is 4 meter above the left support and 9 meter above the right support. This is the position of the crown. It is subjected to an UDL of 15 kN per meter rent. This low UDL is 15 kN per meter rent. This is the given loading. So we have to arrive the reaction, the bending moment for this particular arch. To solve this, let us extend this arch to this level. Extend this arch to this level. Here also draw a 
lines at that intersect the profile of the arch. This span may be called as L1 and this span may be called as L2. For our convenience, let us divide this span into two and call this is L2 and this is L2 and this is this span is L1 and this span is also L1, this is half the span. Instead of calling the whole span as L1, let us call the half span as L1. 2 L1 will be equal to 2 1 L1. Right? Now we know, we know the ratio between the span will be equal to the ratio between the rises, rise y1 and y2. Square root of the ratio between the rises. Here this L2 and we have got the values of L1 and L2. So from this point to this point is given as the span of the, this is 40 meter. Our job is to find out the value of L2 and L1 that is half of the larger arch and half, half of the, I mean half span of the smaller arch. So we have to calculate these two spans from the given span at 40 meters. For this, so this, uh, this is half and we cannot straight away take half of 40. Now let us calculate it from, for our convenience let me rewrite this equation as L2 by L1 and y2 by y1. Now, take it is L2 and L1 may be rewritten as, this L1 may be rewritten, this half the span may be rewritten as 40 minus this L2 will give you this L1. This is 40 and subtracting this value, we can get this value. So, this may be rewritten as 40 minus L2, 40 minus L2 and value of y2 and y1 or y2 is equal to this is for this span this is y2 and this span this is y1 so 4 by 9 this will be equal to 2 by 3 so this will be on simplification we can have this as 3 l2 this will be equal to 40 minus l2 into on simplification of the previous equation, let us have the uh, value of L2 will come at 16 meters. We know L1 is equal to L1 is equal to 40 minus L2. Substituting here, we will be having the value of L1 at 24 meters. We have calculated the value of L1 and L2, and marking this here, the value of L2 is found to be 16 meters and value of the L1 is 24 meters. The first part of the problem is over. After finishing the values of the span of smaller arc as well as the span of the bigger arc. The next part of the problem is calculating the reaction. Reaction at A and reaction at B. Now let us calculate. So the second part is the calculation of reaction. Now let us calculate the reaction which at a, maybe the vertical component, VA. For this, equilibrium of one part of the section has to be considered first, then the equilibrium next half of the section has to be considered. This arch will have horizontal component VA like this, and horizontal component HA like this, vertical component VA like this. And at the same time, on this support, the horizontal component will be HB, and the vertical component will be VE. So this horizontal component and vertical component will act together and it will offer reaction in this direction. It is called as RA. We have to calculate RA also. Here it is RB. Right? To find out the value of VA and HA, let us consider the left arch of the arch first. The left arch. So in order to find out the value of VA, the state moment of all forces about the ground C, about the ground C. The forces acting here are the first the vertical component, the first force, and this is second force, then the applied downward load, this is third force, 
and this will be at two tiers at half of the span, the whole span is 15 meters. So this distance is half of 15, which will be 8 meters. So we have to take moment of all these three forces about this point C. See, before we go for the calculation of moment, let us go for the sign convention. Let us consider um, about this point C round, this force is making a circle like this. So this is a line of action of this force is here, so it is moving in this way. So it makes a clockwise rotation. Let us consider the clockwise rotation as positive. And this is make the line of action of horizontal thrust is like this. And with respect to this point, it is making anti-clockwise rotation and this is considered as negative. And this is downward, vertical downward force and this is acting in this way. With respect to this point, this is making a clockwise rotation. Again, it can become positive. Now, the value of VA, VA and about this point, the distance between these two points is 16 and this is positive. Now the next force is horizontal force. So this is making anti-clockwise. So this is negative. H A into this distance force. Now this vertical downward force, this is making again the anti-clockwise rotation. This is also negative. This is value of this force is 16. It is acting over the length 16 meters and the distance between the line of action of this force and the crown is 8 meters and sum of all this moment will be equal to 0 so as to meet the condition sigma moment will be equal to 0. So our simplification this will become like this 16 VA minus 4 HA minus 4 HA minus 1920 equal to 0. And on simplification, further simplification, we'll be having 4 VA minus H dividing the whole equation by 4. Minus 4 A T is equal to 0. Take this equation as equation number 1. So with respect to the moment of the all forces about C on left side, we have arrived at equation 4 VA minus H minus 4 A T is equal to 0. This is equation number 1. Now considering the equilibrium of the right side, here also we have got three forces, one vertical force, upward force and one horizontal force and one vertical downward force. So this is first force VB, let it be first one and this is the second force and the downward force is 3. To find out the value of VB, let us uh, again follow the same step, taking moment about this three point C, take moment about C. So the first force VB is acting this, in this line and second force acting in this line. The line of action of the first force at this point is 24 meter. The line of action of the second force at this point, this is 4 meter, this is 9 meter, so this will be also 5 meter. The total length is 9 meter and this width downward load will be acting at the half this span, this is 24 meters. So this distance will be 12 meters. Taking moment about all the forces, let us go for the side convention. With respect to this point C, VB, line of action of VB is here. So it is making an anti-clockwise rotation. So this is negative. In the previous side of rotation, we have got negative. So anti-clockwise is negative. Let us have the clockwise as positive. So this is making an anti-clockwise rotation. So VB into this distance 24 is anti-clockwise negative. Considering the sign notation as clockwise or uh, clockwise as positive and uh, anti-clockwise negative is up to our convenience. Once we consider the clockwise rotation as positive, it, we have to consider the anti-clockwise rotation as negative. Now here on this part, it is, we need not follow the same set of uh, sign convention for this, uh, for the, all the cases. In one particular case, we follow this system. This may be uh, different in the next case also. So, 
This is making an anti-clockwise rotation. So this is VB into 24, this is negative. And the next force, this is horizontal force, this is making clockwise rotation. So this is positive and HB into this distance, this distance is 9 meter. Again, this downward load is acting here and it is making again a clockwise rotation. This is positive and this value of this force is 15 kilo newton over the length of 12 meter, 20, 20, over the length of 24 meter and it is acting at a distance 12 meter. So sum of all moments is equal to zero. On simplification, it will be 24 VB plus 9 HB plus and then on simplifying this factor, this will come around 4320. This is equal to 0. Dividing the whole equation by 3, we will be getting this value minus 8 VB plus 3 H plus 1440 is equal to 0. Let us call this equation as equation number 2. Equation number 2. So the total load over the entire arc is 15 kilo newton per meter length for a length of 40 meter. So this is the applied radial load. The span of the arc is 40. The total load is 600 kilo newton. We know VA plus VB is equal to 600. From this, we can calculate VB is equal to 600 minus VA. Let us say this is the third condition, third equation or third condition. So far, we have got the three equations, equation number 1, equation number 2 and equation number 3. Substitute equation 3 in equation 2. So here you have A into of VB, you write it as 600 minus VA plus 3, this is HB and this is HA, 600 HA, HB plus 1440 is equal to 0. Here you will have minus 4800 plus 8VA plus 3HB plus 1440 is equal to 0. And subtracting the values, you will be getting 8VA plus 3H and subtracting this 1,400 from this 1,440 we will be getting minus 3,360, 3,350. This is HB. But H, there is no horizontal force. So there will be definitely HA will be equal to HB and this will be equal to H we can say. So instead of writing, have a giving a suffixion of A and B for horizontal stress, let us rewrite this equation as 8 VA plus 3 H minus 3 3 6 0 is equal to 0. Let it be equation number 4. Now from equation 1, multiply equation 1 by 2. So this is equation 1. On multiplying this equation by 2, we will have 8 VA and multiplying it again, you can give correction for HA, you can replace HA by H minus 2H into 480 into 2 will be 950 minus 950, this is equal to 0, this is equation number 5, equation number 5. Subtracting equation number 5 from equation number 4, this will get cancelled and we'll be having and this will become positive to H and here is 5H and this will become minus 2400 this is equal to 0 5H will be equal to 2400 and H will be equal to 480 kilo newton we have found out the value of horizontal press that 480 kilo newton substituting the value of H in equation number 1 so this is the value of horizontal stress substituting in here 4 VA minus 480 
minus another 480 equal to 0. So this will be Va. On solving this, we can get the value of Va as 240 kilonewton. We found out the value of Va. Now let us substitute the value of horizontal drift in equation 2 so as to calculate the value of Vb. On substitution, we will be getting a minus a Vb plus 3 into instead of hg, you can write substitute the value for h. So this is h value of h is equal to 480 plus 1440 will be equal to 0. I am solving this equation, we will be getting the value of Vb as 360 kilonewton. So far we have calculated the value of horizontal thrust and value of vertical reaction at A and value of vertical reaction at B with the second part of the problem to go over. Now the third, third part of the problem is finding out the bending moment at given section. So this is what the latest configuration of the beam. So this is the configuration of that beam. And the reaction at A is 240, the reaction at B is 3 kilonewton, and all other dimensions, all the values are kilonewton. Horizontal thrust are equal and opposite in direction. The magnitude is 480 kilonewton. So, this is the given section. This section is 8 meters from the left support. We have to calculate the value of bending moment at the section xx such that it is. 8 meter from left support. 8 meter from left support. Again, what are the forces acting in this particular part? We have to consider. So, for that, we need not worry about the rest part of the section. Now, let us consider this part only. The forces acting here are the upward force 1, the horizontal thrust 2, and the downward load 3. These are the forces acting on one part of the section. This is enough if we consider the one part of the section. So the upward force 240 is acting at a distance of 8 meters. So this is, we are calculating the moment about this point. So this is making again a clockwise rotation. We have this positive. And this is making an anti clockwise rotation. So horizontal force, uh, moment due to the horizontal force we consider as negative and this is making anti clockwise. That is the reason for something which is negative for as negative. And 480. This vertical distance we don't know that it be y. The vertical distance we don't know that it be y. Now this applies downward load, this is 8 meters. So half of this distance is this is 4 meters. This distance is 4 meters. So this is half is 4. So the magnitude of this the line of action of this force is like this. So this acting downward with respect to this point it is also making an anti-clockwise rotation. So consider this is negative and this is the magnitude of load is 15 kN over the length 8 meters and it is acting at this point, this distance is 4 meters and the summation is 0. So, so we have to calculate the value of y. So this is the value of bending moment at section x, not 0. Now on simplification, it is, we will get the equation as minus 480y plus 1440 equal to value of bending moment at the section x. The equation governing the parabolic arc is y equal to 4 r by l square into x into l minus x. Here, this is rise of the r, this is span of the r. Rise of the smaller r is given to be 4 meter. Span of the given smaller r is going to be meters and we have to calculate the y distance or the y distance or the sub r at 8 meter from the left support. So the value of x is equal to 8 and we have to calculate the value of y. Substituting it here, the right value is 4 meter and L is 16 square, x is 8 meter into 16 minus 8. 
on simplification we will get the value of y as 3 meter. So substituting we have the bending moment equation. Bending moment at x is found to be minus 480y plus 1440. Substituting the value of y here 480 value of y is 3 meter plus 1440. We can get the value of bending moment at the section x as equal to 0. From this, we can remember the earlier concept in a 3 3 hinge parabolic arc, bending moment at any section is equal to 0. So far, we have found out the values of reaction and bending moment. The reaction with at A was found to be, and of A is found to be 240 kilo Newton and value of B, 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 the vertical component at B is 360 kilo Newton and bending moment at section X is equal to 0. With this, the given conditions are found out. Let us also try to calculate the radial shear and normal thrust. Radial shear and normal thrust at the given section. So for any arch, so this is arch, center line of the arch, the shear along the curvature or along the profile is called as the radial shear. And considering any section, any section perpendicular to the profile central line and the thrust along that line is called as the normal thrust. So we are going to calculate the radial shear and the normal thrust. The equation governing the equation given the equation governing radial thrust is R is equal to P cos theta minus H sin theta where V is the vertical component of any force at that any section a vertical horizontal component of that force acting north at that section H and theta is the angle of inclination of the central line with the horizontal component. So this is the central line and draw a tangent and this angle is the theta. Now we know the governing equation for any parabolic charge is 4 r by l square into x into l minus x. We have to calculate the angle theta. So this is profile of the arc. The tangent will be like this. And consider any small distance dx and consider any small distance in the y direction as dy. And this is the theta. To find out the value of theta, tan theta is equal to dy by dx. So we have to differentiate this equation to find out the value of dy. The angle is given by theta to dy by dx. So once we differentiate this equation with respect to x, we can find out the value of theta. Differentiating the governing equation with respect to y, x will be dy by dx and this will be a constant 4 or by l square and multiplying this we will side will get lx minus x square. On integration uh, the differentiation you will get l minus 2x. So this is the value of dy by dx. So this will give you the angle of inclination. We want the angle of inclination at the point x is equal to 8. Substitute the value of x or uh, 8 for x here. I will get the value of the angle of inclination theta. So on substitution 4, rise of the arch is 4 meter, span of the arch is 16 square and span of the arch is again 16, 2 into 8. And on solving this, we will get the value of inclination at 14 degree and 2 minutes. So we have calculated the value of theta. Now the value of theta has been calculated. We know the value of x. Value of h was found to be in the previous section. We found it as 480 kN. And value of v at this particular section is to be found out. 
So what are the uh, vertical forces acting here? This is one upward vertical force and the downward applied load. The downward applied load, we have to find out the difference between the upward load and downward load. We will give you the vertical component, vertical force at the section, x, x. So the apply, upward force is 240. The downward force is 15 into 8, downward force. This is the vertical force acting at the value of V at the section. So this is found to be 120 kilo newton. So V is found to be 120 and theta is found to be 14 degree turbulence, H is found to be 480. Substituting all these values, we will get the value of radial shear 120 cos 14 degree 2 minutes minus 480 into sine 14 degree 2 minutes. This will give you the radial shear and radial shear is also coming as 0. And value of normal press is given by the equation n is equal to b sin theta plus h cos theta. So substituting the same value of b at 120 and theta is 40 degrees per minute and horizontal shear as horizontal thrust as 480 and theta is 40 degrees per minute, we will get the value of normal thrust as 494.77 kilo newton. With this, we come to the end of this particular session. From this problem, we have found out the value. From problem 5, we have found out the procedure to calculate the reaction, bending moment, radial shear, and normal stress.